So let me show you some of my trim. This is a corner mold. And there again, the, the cuts that I showed you that are showing on this outside corner, see how the wood's exposed there, that corner mold is going to uh, cover all that. Okay? I know I told you I was gonna do white trim, but I decided for blue. No, that's not true. It comes with a, comes with a uh, little protective uh, film on it. Peels off. I've already got one cut over here. I can show you a little better how it covers. This is uh, just happened that two of the ridges came together on this corner, which is the uh, what this takes into account, what this trim takes into account. So basically, you put it up there, and I'll screw it down. It covers that. It covers that. Goes all the way up to the top. It's a beautiful thing. But I'll show you when I get through. I just wanted to show you how this trim just envelops, just completely envelops that corner like that. It butts up even here. I mean, flush there, flush there. It just completely covers up any boo-boos you made on the corner. That's what trim is all about. Trim makes it pretty. Okay? Now, I was concerned about this uh, building being square. I wasn't sure exactly how square it was, but when I came over here and did the window, and I've left these unscrewed because I'm going to have to put some trim uh, back behind there, so I've left that in. Now, I haven't screwed all that down. had not screwed this down here on the side here yet because I'm going to have to have some trim to go underneath it, but uh, I didn't have to do any excess trimming when I cut it. I measured and cut it, and it fit perfect up there that window is a really a brick for a brick facade again i bought the window at home uh at um, habitat for humanity restore where they sell used things that people bring them and uh when it was 20 bucks it's probably a i don't know 100 dollar 200 dollar window who knows uh but it uh uh, it is for br a brick facade, so it sticks out quite a bit, but it makes it pretty good for this because this that's an inch and a half if I remember right an inch and a half ridge uh, I think that's what that is it sticks up an inch and a half So that's about what brick is anyway, so by the time it all said and done get the trim all that stuff It's uh, it's gonna I think that that went that particular one is gonna work out perfectly But the corner trim will cover all that all that mess up on the corner. That's why you don't worry so much about the corners. Get it close, get it as close as you can get it, and then the trim takes care of the rest. I'll show you when I get her done. So this is the shed on the back, and it's tall enough to get my tractor and roll bar underneath. And if you've never built a shed, it's, and I, you know, if you're a contractor you may tell me I'm an idiot for doing it this way but it's the way I've always done it and had anything fall over yet uh, just put a 2 by 6 top plate I showed you that a uh, top um, ridge whatever it is I don't know use some of those brackets um, 2 by 4 brackets and screwed those in Screwed those in there, screwed them in the two before, obviously, right there. And then uh, came over here to the side, had my four before posts in, put a top plate here on the four befores, made sure they were as square as possible. And I'll tell you what, it came out good. I had the exact same amount along this edge as I did the other edge. I started over there. And, and laid the uh, tin this way, and I mean it came out perfect. So I was very, very pleased. Uh, top plate up there. Oh, let me get over here where there's a little more light. Those are the brackets I used. Uh, let me see, it's in the shadow there. But uh, just a, it's a, I don't know what they call those, hurricane brackets or something. But just just a rafter tie of some sort. And uh, use those to uh, to tie the uh, the rafters here to the double uh, uh, top plate there. And uh, boy, it's uh, it's 
It's come out real well. It's uh, only about a 112 pitch, not a big pitch. Overlapped the the 10, overlapped it twice. In other words, this uh, this is the first sheet, the second sheet. The t I put two of the ridges over. The first two ridges on this sheet I put over this first sheet. So I overlapped it twice and screwed it down. And uh, typically that will uh, will be watertight. So let me show you the rest of the building. Well, here it is. The uh, I don't know whether you remember what it looked like before. But here it is now. Uh, I told you about the the trim covering up. Again, trim is like love. It covers a multitude of sins. These, if you remember, these upright, I mean, these uh, pieces of, of tin, sheet metal, were not, were not cut. I didn't cut them just perfect. That's a little bit of an angle. Again, about a 112 pitch. Didn't cut them. I just put them up there and they were just staggered. This one here, this one here, this one. But then I told them to fabricate me a six inch piece and I just screwed it in up there and it hides all that. You'd never know. You and I are the only ones that will ever know that it is not perfectly flush, that the red is perf not perfectly flush up there against that, uh, against that top. Don't tell anybody and I won't. This is the overhang that I already had on that roof. Covers up my um, kayak and I'm gonna put a, a ladder rack down here. Probably put maybe a PVC, put me some 10 foot. This is about 10 feet across there. So I'll put maybe some, something up there. I just don't wanna waste the space. So I'll put something up there to, cover, to uh, hold some <clears throat> 10 foot PVC. I keep a lot of PVC on hand. Probably not as much as I should, but uh, I do keep a bunch on hand. So let's uh, let's check it out. <clears throat> this is the door trim. That's just uh, it's called jam, or or I don't know. It's called head trim, maybe. Um, and it uh, does a good job. It tucks up under the red metal. It's it's U shaped here, here, and then it comes this way out to about right there goes up under this red metal, screw it down. Uh, same way with the window. Again, I didn't start with a real pretty window because that was a Habitat for Humanity. Uh, I didn't steal it off their side. <laughs> it's the Restore. And uh, it was kind of, you know, not pretty to begin with, but I tell you what, it looks a whole lot better than the no window that was there. Uh, trimmed it out, same as the door, the head trim or whatever it's called. I bought some uh, up here, I bought some uh, L-shaped, it comes in and goes up under this roof, under that uh, tin roof there, so it's L-shaped. Here, here, goes back, and I undid the roof on that leading edge there, and so I could slide this up under it, and uh, this, just the opposite, it's L-shaped, but I wanted to cover up this, this piece here. I wanted to cover up the... Uh, I don't know what I wanted to cover, but I just didn't. I knew I couldn't put it. I knew the L shape wouldn't go up under the uh, up under here because uh, because of those purlins there. Uh, they're screwed down, and I couldn't have got the L the L part that way. So I just brought it down, went back that way. Makes a nice little edge. Again, this uh, this was not uh, these sheets were not flush, so I had that six inch trim that just comes up here. And hides all that outside trim hides uh, these corners that I showed you that didn't look all that great uh, cut a little notch at the top I don't know whether you can see that because of the shadow but cut, cut a little notch at the top um, I will hang uh, I've got ladders laying everywhere and I will probably use this to put uh, in fact I've already got some hooks here I'll probably put those I bent them out so they'll stick out a little bit further. Uh, I'll put those, a uh, couple of those here, a couple of those here, and hang some ladders right there. Um, and then we're back around to the back side. Uh, you know, some of the sheet metal where I trimmed it, because I had I had this plate here sticking out, so I had to trim that where to go back in there. You know, why is my trim not perfect? Well. 
because I don't do this for a living and I know what I'm doing up to a certain point and uh, when it comes to making it pretty I don't know what I'm doing so I did the best I could again I think I told you the uh, sheet metal uh, started kind of bubbling up this was laying out uh, I bought six extra sheets 18 feet long when I did my roof kind of for a just in case SHTF poop hits the prop thing just in case I needed any that was the longest sheet on my house so anyway it laid out there and laid out there and you can see you kind of get some dirt washed over it and stuff I need to come in here and power wash that that will clean up somewhat but the paint did not on the, the top layer I was kind of surprised the top layer still looked good but the sheets underneath I had six sheets were uh, that Texas heat uh, man it bubbled it up so that's why I put this on the back and uh, someday I, if I really really want to be pretty on the back and I don't know why you and I are the only one going to see it but, uh, if I really want to be pretty on the back I'll come in here and spray it uh, red and uh, be done with it I'm going to put some racks let me back up just a little bit I'm going to put some racks here we're, un you know, we're under roof here I'll park my tractor here and or uh, or I'll par park my four wheeler and my golf cart lawnmower whatever I think I'm gonna park big red there big orange there excuse me but I'm gonna put a, a rack across here series of series of shelves across here brackets across here uh, stack some two befores two by sixes one befores I've got a bunch in the barn I just need to get them out of the barn I'm trying to clean it out make it make the barn a little bit more uh, give me ability to walk through it uh, right now you kind of have to step around stuff uh, so I'm gonna put me a couple of racks here Let me back out just a little bit so you can kind of get a better idea uh, again under roof there I'll put me a rack there for a two before two by sixes uh, rack there maybe with some more a rack up the top to hold 20 foot uh, PVC and I did have just PVC just laying at the back of this building and kind of up under the building too so that'll all get moved up here will be uh, will be a nice little rack up there to hold my PVC and uh, to hold um, any uh, timber I, I always like to have wood on hand uh, again poop hits the prop you need a two before and you hadn't got one you kind of messed up you know so uh, I'm always keep um, or try to always keep uh, two befores, two by sixes around, maybe even some one, to, one befores. And since I don't know the application I'm going to need it for, it's typically going to be womanized, uh, just in case. Just never know. So uh, that's the tour. Uh, I had some heavy stuff I just brought in. Boy, I cut some ruts with my tractor. Damn, gone it. Man, some pallets of uh, plywood. Uh, I have to do something to fill that in. The slope on the front, obviously that my land slopes that way, kind of kind of that way. So this is the the lowest corner here. That corner there is about six inches off the ground. So I kind of had to dig out there. And what I'll do is uh, I'll mound up some dirt right in here. I'll mound it up to where as the rain comes this way, it'll hit that mound of dirt and run around it. Won't be going under the building to erode the foundation make it lean again since I've got it pretty and straight and uh, I tell you what I'm uh, I'm pleased with it you know I wish the I wish the the metal looked better um, and if that ever really 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 bugs me I'll paint it but for right now again do you remember what it looked like before it looked crappy inside still hadn't done anything with I will uh, I'll finish off the inside, probably paint it all white, and I'll show you that when I do that. Right now, I've got a little bit of hay in there you might can see through the window. And uh, and whatever, I'm going to build me a little porch here, just uh, probably a two foot by four foot, uh, one step, about seven inch step, and then another, it, it, I think it's 16 inches uh, to the threshold there, so I'll probably put an eight inch step, seven and a half, eight inch step. And then you take one step up on the porch and one step into the building. So I'm pleased. I am real pleased. I hope y'all like it. Most everybody on the other video, and I'll uh, put a link to the other video. Uh, most everybody, when I asked should I keep it, 
scrap it, burn it, whatever. Most everybody said salvage it, use it. Uh, I had a few say, you know, just start start over from scratch, and 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 in some ways that might have been easier. But uh, to keep it uh, like this, to keep it uh, to have kept it, I have now a uh, 10 by 16 foot uh, storage area that we can uh, that we can put stuff in. I'm not a hoarder, well, maybe a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I don't I don't throw much away, but there's a reason, you know. Some, some, every time I throw something away, I need it in two weeks. Two weeks, I mean, almost to the day. Two weeks later, I say, I used to have a, oh, doggone, I threw that away. Anyway, but not only do I have a 16 by 10 storage here in the dry, uh, walled in storage, secure. Uh, I'll put some doorknobs on it. I don't have doorknobs on it right now. But I also have what I've been wanting a long time and that's the place to put my tractor and not have to put it in the barn. It takes up that whole middle bay, almost the whole middle bay of the barn. That's a third of my barn. So to move the tractor out here gives me uh, almost probably a fourth of my barn back because uh, Big K, uh, Big K here is he's pretty good size. Especially when you put that bucket on it and if I have if I have anything on the back of it, like a mower or anything like that, it takes up that whole middle area there. The barn's 34 by 34, and it takes up the whole 12, or 36 by 36. It takes up that whole middle section. So, I am pleased. Hope you are. Uh, you probably don't care, but <laughs> you're not as pleased as I am. Uh, but I have, uh, I have dry storage here for wood, for PVC, for other things. I have dry storage here for Big K. I have, uh, that's uh, where the kayak was anyway, but I just uh, refitted it when I put the, the metal on it. I know I've talked a bunch. I just, um, I'm pleased with it, proud of it. And um, if it don't blow away in the first storm, I'll be even more proud. <laughs> oh, okay, even cleaned up back here, kind of. I had three of those big IBC totes back here. I just moved them way back to the back. I got some barrels I need to move. That's my diesel storage, an old, uh, an old propane tank, got some diesel in it, and uh, anyway, kind of, kind of cleaning things up around here, got other projects, I'll show you when they come, won't be long, you'll see some more stuff, stuff I'm building, but uh, anyway, I, I've, I've talked way dang too long, but There she is. And I'm pleased as punch. We go.